Hey, it's Stephanie Wong from Google Cloud, and I have some big green news today. So back in 2007, Google first achieved carbon neutrality, and then they purchased enough solar and wind energy to match their global electricity consumption back in 2017. Now, Google's building on that progress to target a new sustainability goal, running the business on carbon-free energy everywhere. Now they share data about how they're performing against that objective. So you can select Google cloud regions based on the carbon free energy supplying them. You'll be able to see a region's carbon free energy percent, which tells you on average how often that region was supplied with carbon free energy on an hourly basis. Maximizing the amount of carbon free energy that supplies your workload will help reduce the gross carbon emissions from running on it. You can take advantage of locations with a higher percentage of carbon-free energy by doing a few things. One, you can pick a lower carbon region for your new applications. Cloud apps have a tendency to stay put once built. So build and run your new applications in the region with the highest CFE percent available to you. Two, you can run batch jobs in a lower carbon region. They're usually planned ahead, so picking the region with the highest CFE percentage will increase the carbon-free energy supplying the job. And three, set up an organizational policy for lower carbon regions. You can restrict the location of your resources to a particular region or subset of regions. For example, if you want to use only US regions, restricting to Iowa and Oregon versus Las Vegas and South Carolina would mean your app would be supplied by carbon free energy an average of 68% more often. Yeah, that's pretty notable. Of course, you have to consider things like your data residency, performance and redundancy requirements. And remember the cleanest energy is the energy that you didn't use in the first place. You can do this by increasing the efficiency of your cloud apps, which means using less energy and often less carbon emissions. Try serverless products like Cloud Run or Cloud Functions that automatically scale up and down with your workload and take advantage of right sizing recommendations for your compute instances so you're not oversized for what you really need. Google Cloud Regions will be supplied by a mix of more and more carbon-free energy and less and less fossil-based energy. You can find more average hourly CFE percentages for the majority of Google Cloud Regions in the official blog post. But for now, let's celebrate a more sustainable future and feeling empowered to be a part of working towards it. All right, this is Stephanie. I'll see y'all next time.